Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to finish the um, inspector, specifically the inspector's quick time tab, which is the last tab. You can see the little Q inside here. It, this actually covers uh, playing and controls of uh, video media or audio media located inside your document. Now, I know some of you are probably sitting here thinking, I thought we were doing word processing and I thought we were uh, doing publishing programs. But I want to point out that the iWork suite is considered integrative. So it actually integrates in between each, um, each program. So whether you're using Keynote or you're using uh, Numbers, the controls are always the same or pretty much the same. And things can be exported and be used in different ways. So yes, you can put a video inside of an electronic document. No, if you print out the document, you will not print out all the all the slides or all the images that are included in that video, but that's probably a good thing that would take up a lot of paper. So the point is, I'm just going to show how, to, how this works, and there's a couple ways of adding media to your document. You can use the Media Inspector, which covers your music, your iTunes music, uh, covers audiobooks, um, photos, movies. I mean, it takes a little while. It, it won't actually load my photos because I think I have 20,000 photos, so this little wheel might be spinning for some time here. Uh, but we can do uh, movies and whatnot, and we can type it in here and search. I do have a whole separate thing on how to do a whole separate tutorial on how to find things through the media inspector. So for now, I'm going to close that out. And I'm also going to show you that you can drag and drop. I've got this little video here that I took in uh, Tokyo. Uh, I think it was one of the first couple days in Tokyo of some puppets. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and just play this for you. Turn the volume down a little bit here. And uh, I'm going to play this just as well. Yeah, dancing around. Okay. So I took that with my uh, digital camera. It came out all right. But I want to include that in my document. Maybe I'm talking about Tokyo, and I want to show some little video clips that I've taken in Tokyo in this document. And again, you could take these uh, videos that you may have downloaded, maybe from YouTube. And I'm going to do a whole thing on a whole tutorial on YouTube and how to download its videos and save those to your hard drive. And also I'll be covering Miro and some of the other programs such as that. So you will be able to use video media inside these electronic documents. But let's go ahead and put this into our document. I'm just going to drag it, holding the mouse key down and release. Now it's appeared right inside my document, right where I put it. It's floating amongst the text. And now you can see the controls over here are lit up. So I can activate this. I can play it. Okay. Now I can also go back and do some changes. Like I can put a picture frame on it. And we talked about this when we talked about the um, uh, graphics tab. And I can put a different picture frame on it. Make it look like it's broken. See, we've got some great options. I can place a shadow behind that. Um, I could also do the reflection. Yes, it works on the video too. You can make it look like a, a postcard. You see the page, we got page curl here. We can scale this. We can, and that's dealing with the uh, the frame on there. Uh, I'm going to use the, where is it? The oh, This one here. It looks like a, a postcard. I kind of like that. So now I'm going to go back to the uh, QuickTime tab and select my QuickTime movie. And in here, we have repeat. I can repeat loop back and forth if I wanted to create an animation going back and forth. This would be great if I had uh, an animation maybe showing a, my a mitosis, a meiosis, or uh, a math problem that you wanted to show students. You could do it forward or backwards. So it would be great to loop that forward and backwards. But we'll show you. We'll hit loop and go ahead and hit play. Let's turn the volume down here. Um, hit play. Now it's playing, and it's just going to keep looping and playing over and over and over again. So if I go here and do a loop back and forth, it'll go backwards. Okay. So I'm going to say no, no looping. And poster frame, I can decide, as you see here, as I move through it, I can decide which frame I start on, which frame I stop on. So maybe I just want this to appear as an image. What I can actually do is go select that one spot as an image. And then I can freeze frame that and print it out this way. And it will keep that image just like that. I can also decide where the starting point is. Maybe I can go in at um, one second, about one second in, you can see right here. And maybe I, but instead of running it for four seconds, I'll run it for two and one and a half seconds. So I'm gonna go roughly from one second to two minutes and 32 seconds. Now we'll see, it'll be about a second and a half. 
that's it, and that's it. So if it's a fairly long file that you have, uh, maybe a 10 minute movie, you could jump right to the seventh minute and, and show a 30 second clip. And that's a powerful little feature if you want students to really just be focused on one part of a little video clip and you don't want to go in and edit the whole clip. The piece to keep in mind here though is movie files tend to be a uh, relatively good size. I think this one's relatively small, maybe just a few hundred kilobytes, um, 1.5 megabytes. It's, it's actually a pretty good size file. Um, if you're dealing with like a 10 minute movie, as you may see with some of these tutorials as you download and the bigger the picture, in this case, it's 320 by 240, which is not that big, but the larger the file size, uh, the bigger your whole document will become. And there's no way of editing these pictures down unless you put it through a, a program such as iMovie and you try to export it as a smaller file size. But that's the final piece for the inspector tab. When we come back, we're actually gonna start building some uh, templates and building some documents. And you're going to be tasked to build your own document, upload it to the website and let us know uh, what you've created, what you've come up with. And we're gonna collaborate and share all that information. So come on back and we're gonna get started in building some documents.